With me now is Yishai Fleischer. He is the international spokesman for the Jewish community of Hebron. Yishai, good to be with you. Sir, what is your expectation for when an actual new home uh, for Jewish families in Hebron will go up? Could this happen next year, or is this something still that is years away? Uh, thanks for having me on, Jeff. Look, uh, it's not something that happens immediate. We got, we got the right to plan the neighborhood. That takes a long time in itself. It's architectural, it's infrastructural questions that have to be answered. And then after that, we'll move towards the building process, and building itself takes a few years. Uh, but we hope that within three, four years, we'll certainly see new families in Hebron. Explain to me, in your mind, how significant, if at all, the U.S. policy reversal last week was, where they said, no longer do we automatically say West Bank settlement homes for Jewish families are illegal by international law. Just days later, Minister Bennett comes out with this announcement. How important was the U.S. Uh, decision first? Well, I think those two events are really a happy coincidence that, that came together. I don't think the timing uh, had to do with one another. That was the getting rid of the Hansel uh, memorandum was years in, in working, and so to this uh, neighborhood, the wholesale market has been years in, in planning and working. So it's just a kind of a happy coincidence, but but it's a maybe a godly coincidence because the the point is the same. Jews have rights in Judea. Jews have rights in Judea. That makes sense because Jews are from Judea. Uh, we've been in the town of Hebron for the last 3,800 years. We've been an ethnic majority there. We've been an ethnic minority. We were there way before Islam was even invented. Uh, this plot of land that we're going to build this neighborhood on has been owned by Jews since 1807. And we simply have land rights in this town. We have historical connections. We're an indigenous people there. And the uh, Trump administration, with the announcement of, uh, of Secretary of State Pompeo, just kind of clear the air. Yes, Jews have a right to live in Judea. It's normal, it's natural, it's organic. And of course, the heart of that is Hebron, which is really one of the most ancient places. And so a happy coincidence that after America recognized our rights to live in Judea, uh, the Jewish people are moving forward with actually living in Judea.